In this video, we're gonna talk about why you do not need a record label to be successful as an independent artist in today's world. I think there's a big misconception today with every genre of musician that in order to be successful, you have to sign to a record label. And right now in today's world, that is anything but the case. I personally have had over 100 million streams on my music. I've worked with countless record labels, Sony, almost all the record labels inside of the genre that I'm in, in the EDM space, which is melodic bass type music. And the return on what's actually occurred since I signed to all those labels is really not what you would think. And I don't say that to say that it hasn't helped. Yes, the deals I've done, the exposure I've gotten has helped, but the financial return on that has been almost next to nothing. Um, I've said this so many times, but for the sake of this video, I'll just say it again. A million streams on Spotify is about four grand. Right, that's if you get to a million streams. And so if you collaborate with just one other person, you're splitting that four grand in half. So then you have two grand. If you sign it to a record label, they're always taking about 50% of that for, they usually sign the license for about 10 to 15 years, which means they own that version of that master recording. And so four grand turns in about a thousand dollars for each person. Right? And then if you have a manager or you pay your taxes, you're left with about maybe $600 to $800. And so the other thing that most people aren't considering is most labels advance for something, whether that's artwork or promotion or playlisting or something that they do. And that's an advance, it's a loan. And when money starts coming back in from streaming, royalties, whatever, they're getting their cut right off the top, their 50%. And only your section, you know, the artist section, which is that 50%, that's the only part that's going to pay back that advance. And let's just say they spend $1,000, which is maybe normal. So, you know, who knows how long it's gonna take to get paid back. I have multiple songs with hundreds of thousands of streams that I've not seen anything for. And I have no idea when I will see anything from. Because technically they could also just continue to say, oh, hey, we spent money on this stuff without really even your permission. So I think when we think about what it means to be successful and build a sustainable career at some point, you need to think about really hard what you're giving up in exchange for this promotion or opportunity or exposure. Because if every single one of your songs is signed to a label, and that's the deal, how many streams are you gonna actually have to have to make music your full-time thing? And what level of touring artist do you have to be at for you to make enough money playing shows? It's really difficult. It's really difficult when you're just constantly giving away your music. And some people might say, you know, unless you have a label pushing it, you know, what's a small percentage of nothing? And I understand what they're saying. But the point of this video and what I wanna get to is there are so many artists right now using content, using social media to grow their brands. There is multiple stories and I keep hearing them almost on a weekly basis of an independent artist, their friend tells them to start posting on TikTok or Instagram, and then six months later, they had something go viral. And then all the shows, all the bookings, everything started to come in. Right? And, and all they did was just start to put themselves out there and post about their music. And so 
I do personally come from a time where record labels, they were the only way. There was really not another way. You know, you had MySpace, which there was artists kind of popping off from that. Um, but for the most part, all of my favorite bands and artists that I love, they're all signed to labels. Like my dream label was Capitol Records. And, you know, a part of my story is at 19 in 2009, I did get signed to a label. And then that label didn't work out and I lost like 30 songs. And I've had multiple things happen to me where I thought the label thing was gonna work out and then didn't work out and now they own the songs. And the other thing I've experienced with all the deals that I've signed um, in the EDM space is there's a massive time delay so many times. There's, certain, um, there's a certain song that I'm thinking about where it literally didn't come out for two years. It took two years for the song to come out. And I think something that we all forget is speed, the speed in which we're able to move. And labels have a calendar. There's only so many releases they can do in a year. And you could have your best song yet, sign it to a label, and it doesn't come out for a whole year. And then what, right? And what momentum could actually be generated if you just put the song out, Get with maybe the collaborator if you did the song with the collab and figure out how you guys can self-promote it and be relentless on social media. I can't tell you how many stories I hear lately too of, you know, had a good song and you just posted it on social media, posted it on TikTok for like months and finally it blew up because they were, relent they were relentless and they just didn't give up on it. Um, you know, a couple artists that I'm thinking about right now, there's an artist named Alley Cat who I just posted about on my Instagram that... You know, her friends basically bullied her into posting her stuff on TikTok and like now she's getting booked. Now she has a booking agent. Now like everything is happening for her. There's another artist uh, named Mashbit who, you know, was relatively unknown and then started just making content and then there you go. And if any of you guys out there have a computer, which you're probably watching this on or a phone, you can make music and you can post about it on social media. It costs you nothing. So the purpose of this video is to tell you guys that if you have your mindset on record labels are the only way to get success, first off, you are releasing this responsibility that all of us as musicians need to take on ourselves to put in the work that's needed to move our career forward. And most of these record labels, even if you have a release with them, are still gonna want you to do all this content. And so if you're gonna have to put in all this work anyways, might as well do it for yourself and do what it takes to start to build an audience. And the other thing that I feel like most people just forget is so many of us are wanting to build up to play shows. But at the end of the day, Remember, the only thing that concert venues want or even festivals is for you to be able to draw a crowd. And if you can build up an audience organically online through social media and you can sell tickets, you're gonna get booked. Promoters are gonna reach out to you. There's an artist who I'm working with now, he's independent, he's doing the thing on, on social media, on content, on TikTok. We've built his TikTok from below 2,000 followers to over 10,000 followers. And now he's growing his Spotify and now he has promoters reaching out to him. Two promoters reached out to him today. And it's because he's just putting in the work and he's doing what you can do. Everyone can do this. You know, most artists that I listen to, most artists that are in my collective make good music. But the thing that's gonna differentiate you and, and get your name out there and grow your brand is figuring out how to make content and do that consistently and bring people into your world. Uh, and I think the last thing I, I wanna just say is, 
It takes so much time and love and energy and passion to create music that we're proud of. And we're so quick to just give it away to a company. And, you know, it seems like they care. It seems like it's the best thing for you. But most of the time, there's a little bit of push with the song. It gets a little bit of traction. They help with a couple things and then they're on to the next release, right? You got to remember that all these record labels are just businesses. And the only way they make money is just to have consistent releases. And so they're throwing constant spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks. But the only way they stay in business is just they keep doing that. And so I'm not saying that no record label is going to care about you, but I've had so many artists, including myself, think that this label deal was just going to change my whole career, and it doesn't. And I was just talking to an artist last night, and I think my, my biggest motivation for, you know, this message and, and the continual harping on this subject about being independent is, yeah, it's going to be a little more work to figure it out, to build your own team, to do what it takes, to, to not feel like you need to rely on, on other people or record labels. But once you get to the point where you've built it up yourself, you've built your own audience, then you can look at yourself in the mirror and go, I built this, I built this for me. And no one can tell me what to do because I built this. And that's what I want for everybody. And I want all of you to know that you can have that. It's just how bad do you want it? What are you willing to put in to get that return? How patient are you willing to be? So I hope this video helps. I'm gonna do my absolute best to make at least a video like this every single week. Um, if you are interested uh, and you are some kind of melodic producer. And when I say melodic, I just mean, are you someone who works with vocalists? Um, there'll be a link down here. You can apply to be in the Melodic Pulse Collective. And yeah, this is really just the beginning of what I'm starting to build. Uh, it's been such a blessing to work with the artists that I've been working with. Um, but if you guys follow me or like and subscribe, all the content that I plan to keep putting out is to help empower you, give you all the tools and the resources to take your music career into your own hands. Wherever you are, I hope you're well. God bless. I'll talk to you soon.